Maisie and I wanted to show you uh, some of the feeds that you might come in contact with about uh, with horses. Uh, first of all, we have things set up here on the bale of straw. This is what you used for bedding. You notice it has the nice bright color uh, to it. And Maisie, what kind of hay do you usually use in your barn? We use an orchard grass with a little bit of clover mixed in. Um, and this hay is nice broad stems is a characteristic. Right. It's nice and green, it's, it's a soft type of hay, and you can see that's a nice clean hay, not dusty or anything. And what's that you have beside you there? Right here I have a hay net, which is used to hang the hay and keep it separate from the straw or bedding. It's also used in trailers, um, but a hazard of hay net is that if too much hay is eaten or if it's hung too low, it can drop down and a horse can get its foot caught in it. Right, that can be a real hazard. But and you just open it up and put the hay in, and then pull it tight again. And hang it up. That works very handy. It can be exasperating sometimes when you get the ropes all mixed up, but it really works. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you was the Timothy hay. And this is a hay that you can tell it's Timothy hay by the characteristic of the stems, but also you see these seed heads here. Um, so that anytime you see that in your hay, you know that that's Timothy, it has a lot lot of Timothy in it. So that's another type of grass hay that's very commonly used with horses. And then what's that real good looking green stuff there, Maisie? Here we have alfalfa, which is a legume hay, and you can see all the really rich um, leaves here um, and how brightly green it is. It's a very rich, high in protein feed. Mm -hmm. You usually find that in racetrack barns. Um, something you want to pay attention to with all your hays is that they should look good, they should be nice and clean. When I do this, we don't see a lot of dust floating around. And when you smell it, it smells really good, doesn't it? it smells it's, great, very yeah. spring. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the big thing, you can often smell mold before you can see it. The dust that you might get from hay, particularly alfalfa hay, uh, that can mold very easily. Uh, when you shake it like this and you get a plume of dust, that's usually mold spores, not actually dust. Um, some of the concentrate feeds, we've gotten this one a little bit dirty here, but some of the concentrate feeds that we'll feed is what we call a sweet feed and take some of the hay out of here. But you can see it's made of oats and some cracked corn and some other pellets. Usually you have some soybean protein here, you have molasses. This is a very common type of sweet feed that's used. Here we have a complete pelleted feed which has been processed and bound together. Um, it's usually hay, ground up alfalfa, and then a binder that's an extruded uh, and made into that pellet type of, of uh, uh, shape. And you also might find alfalfa pellets, which are the same as this hay, only they've been dehydrated and compressed. Um, it can be fed either dry or wet. Right. And these are just horses really like this for sort of like candy to them, and they can crunch through that, but that's a very nice uh, product. It can be shipped around, carried with you when you're traveling and uh, horses really like that too. So these are some of the basic feeds that you're able to run into. Just remember some of the words of orchard grass, Timothy hay, alfalfa hay, um, sweet feed, and pelleted feed. That gets you through some of the basics, doesn't it? Yes.